Yo, so guys, it's your boy. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five decks of the meta. With no bias, no bias. Pendulums are only one through a thousand. Now let's go! If you're ready for this video, I wanna smash the subscribe button because guys, 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 guys. We're like what two subscribers away from 25,000? I told you guys, 25,000 will be releasing the most broken, amazing, remarkable list. Pendulum Magician deck profile the world's ever seen. Who needs Electrum? Because we don't, baby. Let's go with the new Magician. I'll be releasing it as soon as we get 25k. And guess what? 26,000 subscribers. Who's ready for this one? You ready for this one? 26,000 subscribers. We'll be releasing our Odd Eyes deck profile. Let's go! Odd Eyes, baby. It's been a long time since I looked at Odd Eyes. But it's the very first deck that got me into this. So Odd Eyes, Odd Eyes Pendulum Magicians. I love Odd Eyes. So we're going to be doing at 26,000 a new Odd Eyes profile. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to go follow my personal Instagram in the description below where I'll be posting lots of Yu-Gi-Oh! updates as well as fitness updates because Trip Fitness is making its comeback. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Honorable mentions. Number one honorable mention, Salamangre. It don't crack the top five because it sucks. No Stalio, no problem. Yes, Stalio. Still no problem. The deck sucked anyways. Next, I will give it the respect it deserves as the number one honorable mention. Just out of the top five. Dinos. They just got lit the guys on. That card's pretty damn good. So I will give it as some respect to put as a second honorable mention just outside the top five. Both decks can do some damage. I named some decks right now that are nowhere near the top five and quite honestly, not even top 15. Sky Strikers, because it sucks. Heroes, didn't get touched on the list, still sucks, I'ma just be honest, I take Dark Magician over both those decks, that are some de these are both two decks that a lot of people starting to think oh, maybe it'll be alright because they didn't get touched, just cause they didn't get touched on the ban list, why didn't get touched on the ban list? Dark Magicians, do you see me picking up my Dark Magicians? No, now, maybe in the future, Dark Magician Pendulum, I'll do one more honorable mention. Invoke Mac Knight, I think is pretty pretty good, but it just cracks out the top five. Now, before we get started on the top five, I want you guys to check out this beautiful I Am a Demian Cloth Playmat in the description below. If you will like one, send a little money on the PayPal and get yourself a little I Am a Demian Cloth Playmat. Link in the description. And friendly note on that, if you guys do not have $40 or $50 to set, spend on a mat, and if you're pretty damn good at this game, we do daily tournaments, pendulum only, on our streams. So if you missed out our stream... We're going to do another stream every single day. Check out tomorrow. Friday's stream will be go down 3 p.m. If you're watching this and it's 3 p.m. on a Friday, get on the stream right now and watch it. We're going to be doing $10 entry for tournaments. Winner gets the map. Now, we're going to go off the list. Number five is going to be Guru. Now, I ran this list by some pro players. And like, yo, what do you think of my list? Now, a lot of them thought Guru shouldn't even be top 10 and join the ranks of tier 19 strikers. But... Some of them thought Guru's the best deck, so I'm like, there is definitely a big discrepancy here, but I'm putting Guru at number 5. Now, the, if you look at the numbers here, there are 3 decks that have the highest win percentage by far versus everything else. You're looking at Spiral, Altergeist, and Guru, all of them have like 64% mid 64 win rate on Dueling Book right now. You could check all these stats on YGOScope.com. You could check what has the highest ratings and everything. I'll discuss everything as we go on, but Guru... Honestly, it just sucks. I don't know how anyone rates it. Guru and Altergeist are perfect examples of decks that did not get touched on the ban list. But they're still shit. I don't know why. People are hyping these decks up. There's a damn reason they didn't get touched on the ban list. They suck. They're actual garbage, okay? They don't actually do anything. They The engines, I don't care if they could play... Want to know another deck that could play 20 traps, like Guru and Altergeist? Orcist! That's my number four, my, my number four pick, maybe even number three. But Orcus, does, the engine of Orcus is better than Guru and arguably better than Altergeist. Arguably. Just the or, how it is now. But you could also play a bunch of, well, the engine of Orcus is way better than Altergeist right now. But I'm saying uh, there's more space in Altergeist. So I'm going to put Altergeist number three, Orcus number four, which I'll talk about Altergeist after this for a reason. But Orcus is number four right now for me. Harp Horror is banned, and the deck doesn't actually do anything. It's actually Crescendo Pass. But it's not just Crescendo Pass. It's the fact that the Gears is so damn broken. 
for the sole reason of that. A lot of people would not even put Orcas in the top 10, to be honest. Orcas, I think, is pretty shit right now. But the single reason that you can now play traps in it, hand traps. You can play 18 hand traps in Orcas right now, easily. And you and then Crescendo, it's just Crescendo uh, crescendo control, bro. Then Gearsu control. You can end on, you could use the engine to draw with Orcas to the return. Have a Dengirsu on field. Three hand traps. Go ahead, fam. Go ahead. You ain't cracking the board, and next turn, I'm going to Orcus combo you. Orcus combo obviously sucks now, but it is pretty damn good. You know what? I'm going to change my I'm gonna change my mind mid-video. Mid I did all this research. Orcus only won 56% of matches. I'm going to put Orcus at number three. I literally, mid, mid during the damn video, I'm changing my damn mind. Because I'm a pen god, I'm allowed to do that. Altergeist is number four. I talked myself out of it. I got all this math though. Altergeist got 62% of win rate online on, on Dueling Book. Screw that. Screw math. You think, why do you think Nerd Trip doesn't exist anymore? Pen got Aiden, baby. Let's go. Now, we're going to put number four, Altergeist. All right? Orcus, we'll go back on it again. It's number three. Altergeist has for number four. Altergeist just sucks, just like Guru. All right? It does a little damage, fine. It's a, The engine's a little okay, fine. But hey, dr uh, oh, uh, Noah Summon, plus one trap, set four pass. This is garbage. All right, we're going to put it number four because it's the best of the garbage decks. So, being the best of the worst still makes you number four. Number three will be the Orcas we talked about. Then Gearsu control is real, bro. You still go Orcas every turn, set from hand, four hand traps, go then Gearsu on the field. What are you going to do? You ain't going to do shit, let me tell you. The deck is still good, and I firmly like it a lot. Number two. Now, if I, my honest opinion, I think every one of these decks are buys with the exception of the top two. Number two is Spiral. Spiral is a problem. Spiral is... 100% a problem, and you guys are gonna have to throw your sphere modes in the side deck right now. You're gonna have to throw a Nibiru, a Draw and Lockbird, whatever you possibly can to combat this deck because Spiral is 100% a problem. They can play through hand traps easy, they can play through lots of stuff easy, and end on a gigantic board. Throw in your sphere modes. Magician Souls makes this deck 10 times better. There's a reason it wasn't touched on this list because so Magician Soul can sell. It's all good. Now it leads us to the greatest deck ever made in the history of humankind, world kind, alien kind, and Yu-Gi-Oh kind, Endymion. Pure Endymion. Broken. If I could top a regional with Harpoor, Engage, Salio, you don't think we could win worlds without them? I can't explain, begin to explain how free everything is in the meta right now. It wasn't just me who top, bro. If I top, you guys top. We're playing the same deck. All you gotta do is play smart. As you guys see in my profiles and comment tutorials I show you, there are certain lines of plays that you have to do every time that a lot of people don't do. If you guys remember my last video I made, okay, do you remember when I Mighty Mastered first before the Blue Boy? Little plays like that help you play around so many different situations that it don't damn matter what hand trap they have, you're still putting up five the gates. Now, as long as you guys could do that when you play, whether it be Endymion or Pendulum Magicians, whatever it may be, Odd Eyes, Zephyr, it's all good. You're going to win. You just have to play perfectly. Now, Spiral has the best win rate out of all these decks on Dueling Book at 64%. Pendulum's win percent is garbage. It is a 55%. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. When I'm testing, I don't like rated. Because you're going to duel someone with a three-card extra deck and be like, why the hell am I wasting my time? I don't got patience for that. I should have just clicked the X button. I don't care about my rating. I don't play on it much. But when I do test, I will message, not on stream, on stream. Okay, you guys see me win on stream all the time. But I'll message some of my good players, good pro players, and be like, yo, let's test right now. Play Spiral, Altergeist, Orcus, whatever the hell you think is the best deck. And I proceed to just obliterate the, their whole entire existence. And let me tell you, Pendulum Magician, Pendulum Magicians, I'm not, it's still good, but Pure Endymion with Mythical Beasts and Spellbooks, using Crowley as a new Electrum, that's the way to go, baby! It's the best deck, plain and damn simple. So if you guys like this video, you're going to need to smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful, you're so beautiful, man. Thank you. Thank you, Pengot. No problem, Endymion. Love you. Check out your beautiful mats in the description below. Don't miss out on our tournaments because, hey, we got some beautiful Pendulum decks showcased 
on these daily tournaments, which we're going to be doing, we saw Magic Spectre win with Draco, pal, today, and it was pretty damn insane. And don't forget to go follow my personal Instagram in the description below where I'll be posting lots of Yu-Gi-Oh! updates as well as fitness updates because Trip Fitness is making its comeback. If you guys like the video, smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!